so uh, our next topic for our learning is a poem which is on foreign lands okay so it is written by robert louis stevenson it's a very interesting poem which we'll go and find out further you know when we read the poem you will understand how interesting it is and how the boy the little boy over here wishes to travel to foreign lands so foreign lands is something related to something of his dreams of his about his dreams and aspirations okay so let's see further we'll uh, see the introduction of the poet and then we go further with the poem so the poet is robert louis stevenson robert louis stevenson who was born on november 13th 1850 at scotland he died in december 3rd 1894 at wild mill wild limmer some was scottish he was an essayist poet and author of fiction and travel books he is best known for his novels treasure island and kidnapped strange case of doctor so these are different write ups of mr robert lewis his works written are like treasure island except for what we just read above almost the same things and some more added to it right so he is a, a, a good poetist he is a good a poet and a, a writer who has written a lot of stories which we have seen just now so his poem is foreign lands one of his poems is foreign lands where he is describing about a boy who wishes to travel abroad wishes to go far away and reach up to his goal and aspirations so let us uh, read the poem the poem is as follows foreign lands up into the cherry tree who should climb but little me i held the trunk with both my hands and looked abroad in foreign lands i saw the next door garden lie adorned with flowers before my eye and many pleasant places more that i had never seen before i saw the dimpling river pass and be the sky's blue looking glass the dusty roads go up and down with people tramping into town if i could find a higher tree farther and farther i should see to where the grown up river slips into the sea among the ships to where the roads on either hand lead onward into fairy land where all the children dine at 5 and all the playthings come alive so you can see the boy who has climbed up the tree on top of the tree and he is saying this poem okay so here the poet talks about the dreams what he wants to achieve right he is dreaming quite high he wants to i mean the picture or the poem depicts over here that he's climbing up the tree and he's looking far behind far far places wherever his eyes can reach to the end of it okay and he's trying to figure out that there are so many different beautiful things around but he's never able to reach up to them there he could see uh, that the garden is there the beautiful flowers adorning it right i don't you the the um, uh, decorative part of it right he could see a cherry uh, he could see a garden which was just next door which was very close to his uh, place where he was staying but he had never seen that and it looked so beautiful from top of the uh, tree with flowers and pleasant places which he had never seen before and he saw the dimpling river pass and be the sky's blue looking glass the dimpling river he denotes over here with when you drop a uh, when you drop a stone or something into the river you can see how it uh, goes into it goes inside you can see a small kind of a, a dent which follows into it like a dimple like a, a cheerful face and there are some faces here so you can see certain dimples coming over it's just a small slight bend or a dent or a turn which is there uh, um, in the river so similar manner the poet is referring here to the river where the dimpling river is passing that means it has those shining thing or it has those little dent which uh, when it has those waves in it and be the sky is blue looking glass and the sky is like shining blue <coughs> the dusty roads go up and down <coughs> with people tramping into the town 
and he had not seen so many people around together so he could see the dusty roads which were there and people were walking slowly and going past heavily however so he could see a lot of people around there if i could find a higher tree farther and farther i should see to where the grown up river slips into the sea among the ships right so he wishes to see far and far beyond his eye could reach okay so the simple statement uh here the concluding part or the poem idly refers to the dreams of this boy who wishes to uh, who wishes to reach up to different places okay so he talks about or the poet here talks about the dreams of this boy who indirectly talks about the various stages of his life right so everything is said with a doubt using the word if right if he could travel if he could go there so in the first stanza he says that if he could climb the tree then he would see the foreign land so it is like if he can go uh, if he can climb up the tree that is if possible if it is happening he talks the ambition of a child who wants to see foreign places after that he climbs the tree and sees how the garden the next door is decorated with beautiful flowers and how he could see far off places the second stage of his life he would have grown up and had gone on long trips during this time he sees river and he personifies the river as dimpling river and also uses the river as a metaphor that is it is looking glass for the sky like it it can see the reflection into it this line explains the youthfulness <clears throat> and vigor of the poet he also sees various kinds of life by stating that he had seen dusty roads curving up and down and many people are walking with heavy sound because of the load they are carrying the third stage of his life is stated that if he could climb a higher tree he would have seen the mature river getting mingled with the mighty ocean where the ships are floating he would have seen the road leading to the fairy land where the children would have completed their dinner at 5 and would have played with the playthings that had come alive and finally the last stanza says and explains that that every human being after becoming mature will again go into the period of childhood so it's a cycle it, it it is a cycle it has to come back to you the small babies and once you grow older you again behave like children so that's exactly a life cycle which has been depicted so depicted so beautifully by the poet over here by robert louis stevenson uh, who is referring the entire poem the trees and the far off lands related to the life of his to to one's life right so this this is a poem uh, i would just read out certain uh, difficult words that we came across trunk which is a main body or wood stem of a tree a broad is outdoors outside adorned is decorated dimpling is that which has got a dimple or a dent looking glass is a mirror that has been referred here tramping is walking slowly and heavily so we have our textual exercises i want you all to go through the textual exercises which are discussed in the class and um, uh, write down the notes which are posted in your teams okay if any doubt please do get in touch with me thank you so much <clears throat> stay safe stay fit thank you children take care